Okay, my young and restless fans, we got to talk about today's episode. Both Abby and Connor gets comfort from their mothers. Sally turns down Nick's offer, but she sleeps with him. And Diane declare war on both Tucker and Phyllis. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for November 18th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Genoa City today. So we're over at Chelsea's new apartment where she's showing Connor around. Now he's glad that she's back. And she looks forward to all of the time that they can spend together there. Now they talk about redecorating his new room and all the fun that they're going to have together doing that. Now he asks her to promise not to disappear again. And of course, she looks over at Adam. Now after he joins them on the couch... She reminds her son that she was in the hospital last year and Connor asked if she was sick again. Now, Adam reassures Connor and asks him to give her some time to kind of break it down. Now, Chelsea takes her time explaining how lost and confused she was. And she thought she was over that, but it came back worse. So she thought it would be best to go back to the hospital. And Chelsea asks Connor if he knows what depression is. And Connor thinks it means sad. Then he starts sobbing and he's sorry that he hurt her. Now she hugs her son. Adam assures him that none of this is his fault. Chelsea backs that up and points out things are already turning around. Now, Chelsea says that she misses Ray and Connor admits that as well. She also admits that it was hard for her when Johnny didn't embrace her as being his bio mom. Now, she was hoping that, you know, she could be part of his family and make it better than it already is. Now, she's working really hard with her doctor to figure out how to get better. Connor asked, is it over now? And Chelsea went on to explain that this is an illness and she'll have to learn how to manage it. It's going to take some time. When he asked how bad did it get, she takes a deep breath and explains it was very, very bad. The pain was so unbearable and she wanted it to stop. And he said, it was so bad you wanted to end your life, he guesses, telling them he knows what it means to be quote unquote unalive or unalive yourself. Now, they're not wild about what he's been reading online, but as a content creator myself, I understand because that's the only word that you can use across platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, because they don't like to use the S word. However... Um, you know, she said that she couldn't feel the wonderful things in her life. Now, she doesn't feel that way anymore and will work hard to not feel that way again. And then, of course, Connor gives her a hug. Connor offers her help and they tell him how important honesty is. And Chelsea promises not to keep anything else from him. Now, Adam tells him that he does not need to feel ashamed or embarrassed for his mom. And Chelsea tells Connor that she is getting treatment and she's getting better. Now, Connor asks to spend the night with his mom. Adam leaves to go get his stuff. And Connor tells his mom he doesn't know what he would do if something bad had happened to her. However, she assures Connor that it won't but Chelsea's job is to look after Connor and it is the best job in the world now over at society Tucker wanders in and Phyllis twirls her chair and offers to buy him a drink now once he gets a drink she toasts to him and his help with taking Diane down and she asks why are you back in Genoa City now he claims his sole focus is Ashley like oh I missed her and I figured that I could just slip back in with the Abbots just as easily as Diane has. Now over at Jabot, Diane burst into Jack's office and demands to know why he has not been answering her calls. He's like uh excuse me I'm busy I ain't got time for your drama that Jack needs to listen to what she has to say. Now, Jack isn't interested in whatever fresh hell she's bringing. 
Diane warns him about Tucker and she admitted that he asked her to get him financial papers about Jabot so he could exploit their weaknesses. However, she says she never gave him anything and Jack is pissed and demands to know why she's telling him this information now. Now, Diane is insisting that she had no intention of collabing with Tucker McCall on this. Diane wanted to set a trap for him and catch him red-handed. And she explains that Tucker has threatened to use Jeremy against her. He's also about to be released and Nikki, Phyllis, and Ashley, aka the Three Stooges, want to convince him that she put him away. Now, Jack appreciates Diane giving him the truth so he can prepare to deal with Tucker McCall. Now, she admits that she did hell back on giving Kyle the details because she was afraid that he was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and confront Tucker directly. Now, Jack asks if she had a hand in putting Jeremy behind bars. Diane admits that she made a deal and got immunity for turning Jeremy in. Now, Diane tells Jack no one else can know, and his sister is making things worse. Now, Diane walks into society, catching Phyllis and Tucker together. Diane put them on notice, and she tells them that she has Jack and Kyle in her corner, and they cannot compete. And this has officially turned into a war. Speaking of Ashley, Abby shows up over at the Abbott estate in tears and telling her mom, mom is bad. Now, once she sits down, she tells Ashley her marriage might be over. Chance doesn't think he's the right person for her and he don't wanna be. And her mom is confused and assumes that he cheated on her. And sobbing, Abby was like, um, mom, no, it wasn't Chance. I was the one who cheated. And she was like, oh, honey, assuming that it was meaningless. Uh, you didn't say that about Tucker. Anyway, her daughter explains that it was actually Devon and how they were feeling alone and isolated. It just happened. And then they hug each other. Ashley say some things just happened and suggest that they can just get past this. Now, Abby isn't so sure. Now, Ashley points out that she would need to have to change her relationship with Devon if she wants to save her marriage. Chance has the right to demand that she not be so close to Devon. Then all of a sudden, Jack bursts in and he demands to speak to Ashley alone. Now, once Abby has gone, Jack repeats that he told his sister to leave Diane alone. Ashley was like, well, I may have agreed to that, but that don't mean that I'm gonna do it. And Ashley goes on to say that she sees Jack constantly going to battle for Diane. However, Jack mentions to her, Tucker asked Diane to pass along Jabot information and turned on her when she did not comply. Now, whatever he's really after, it looks like Ashley, you have been his unwitting accomplice. So back over at the Grand Phoenix, Nick walks Sally back to her room. Now she asks him to come in and talk over a drink so they can find some answers. She makes it clear, however, that she does not want to discuss his loan offer. Now after Sally offers and gives him a drink, they discuss Nate and his problems with integrity. What about your sister and your dad's problem with integrity? Remember Ashlyn Locke? And Nick is a big fan of hers and hoped that she takes his loan offer as a statement of his faith in her. Now, Sally's grateful for the offer, but she doesn't want anyone thinking she's trying to manipulate a romantic situation. Now, Nick assures her that there's nothing illicit going on, but he won't deny that their relationship does mean a lot to him. Now, Nick can see how talented she is and what a great team she makes with Chloe, so he's sure that they would be a powerhouse in whatever they do. Now, Sally says she doesn't want to start another fashion line. Running Newman Media taught her that there was so much more that she could do. 
doing fashion would be a step backwards. Now, she'd like to try something new like interior design or even event planning. And Nick is sure that she could make either of those two things a success. Now, she can take it one step at a time, and he said he will be there to help if she wants it. Now, Nick's belief in her means everything to Sally, and that's why she's turning his offer down. Now, she don't want anyone to think that her business is a success because he bankrolled her. Um, yeah, tell that to the people that go to Shark Tank to get funds for their business. Anyway, it makes sense to him, and he cannot wait to see her triumph. However, Sally says that he can be by her side in a different way. So Nick took her hand. He tells her how much he wants to spend more time with her. She asked, is this going somewhere? And he's like, well, I hope so. They kiss, they make love. After that, she tells him it feels right. So after their little tete-a-tete, -tete, Nick asks her out to celebrate. And she wonders like, uh, what are we celebrating? And Nick says that it is a new chapter for the both of them, that her and her business plans are worth celebrating. And after he gets out of the shower, all muscled up and chest open, she gets an idea and starts scribbling. Now he returns in his towel and she announces that she has come up with a whole new business model. And after looking at it, he tells her it's great. And then Sally says, this is where I want to be here with you. However, the drama is going to continue next week because Adam says that he wants to be with her. They belong together. And he says, marry me, Sally. What is her answer going to be? And it looks like, according to the spoilers, uh, Nick is going to retaliate. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and a Restless recap for Friday, November 18th, 2022. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And also stay tuned for the spoilers for the week of November 21st. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.